This is this is him. Hey, did, uh, did you get it? Yeah. This, this is him more or less when I first met him, and is uh, 23, 24 ish. Uh, it's hard to believe it's, it's, it's the same uh, young man, still young to, by my terms. <laughs> yeah, still, but yeah. uh, the, um, when he came down to visit me in uh, in 2003, when I said that you can buy me breakfast, and uh, I didn't really think he was going to come because he was coming from Canada, yes. uh, but he showed up, and the, uh, we spent a couple hours talking, and that was the beginning uh, of the relationship uh, 16 years ago, and uh, he's continued to make me proud. And the, uh, it's quite remarkable, uh, he came to the seminar about 10 years ago, more or less, and uh, now he's back. Um, and he's coming back to the hardcore. Yeah, he comes to the hardcore, and it was uh, with his lovely wife, uh, and, uh, the, um, and it, 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 it's great, it's a great experience uh, for, for the kids, the kids being the seminar attendees, to see somebody that I've uh, had interface with, experience with for over 15 years, and uh, it wouldn't be as good a story if he wasn't so successful. Uh, the, uh, I, I, we wouldn't be doing this guy. I would be the Walt Hall of Shame. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we wouldn't be having this fucking video right now if he wasn't so successful. Uh, but he has been successful, and I've got the honor of speaking in front of his group in about two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. Two weeks. And where I'm going to beat him like a rented mule. I mean, <laughs> choke him. Uh, the, the, little, the little kids pound on him uh, to get more out of him because, you know, the, uh, they ought to be uh, seven figure tickets. Yeah. Seven figure ticket kids. And. Uh, the, uh, and as I've already said, uh, his uh, materials are great, excellent, he's at the top of uh, his game, but he's going to make it better. Yes. He's going to even make it better, and, uh, the, uh, and he, he's going to continue, because hard, uh, high performance people uh, are all they can be all the time. High performance, uh, high performance people are all they can be in everything in their life, not just in, in the great uh, product and services that he provides for the kids and the, the uh, uh, I, I can't tell you how often uh, I'm a, I'm a, a high-ticket uh, closer, HTC. I didn't know what that man did to... Because of the cell phone, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but because they come out of his stable and uh, the, uh, a number of kids. And, uh, the, uh, and he's improved, you know, arguably millions of lives uh, where they can provide themselves more money and uh, more money to support their families, etc. And um, not just in Canada, all over the damn world. Uh, and although I tease them uh, that they're all Asian, but they're not all Asian, you know, they, 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 there's, uh, there's a, a lot of them are minorities, though. Yeah, oh yeah, a lot of them, lot of them are minorities, yeah. and we're looking forward to it. And so we're going to uh, take a tour of uh, part of the grounds, uh, and the grounds have changed since you were here. Yes. And the uh, and I look forward to it, and I'm very happy that he's here. Thank you very much. So so then to to run maintain a place like this, right? I, I remember ten years ago. Like I remember it was big, but somehow when I come back, it's, how, it's just it's much bigger than I thought. Maybe at the time I was a mm -hmm. kid, I don't have a lot of didn't have a concept, right? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just looking at the lawn. <laughs> I'm looking at the garden. Just even my house, like the lawn. I don't know how much it costs to maintain, right? This like you run the place, the castle. How much it costs? It's about a hundred grand a month. Hundred grand a month to maintain it, right? Yeah. And then you have. You That's know. if nothing breaks. <laughs> That's if nothing breaks. <laughs> and uh, a new machine, you don't need a new machine. But the wall garden up there is two, is two hectares. Yeah. That's four and a half acres. Yeah. Uh, the, the grounds are 156 acres. And the golf course is there. And a nine hole golf course, which is on both sides of the estate, uh, with a, a lock, which is a lake, which, and we have royal swans. I don't own the swans in the, uh, in the lock. Mm. The queen owns the swans. Mm. That's her property, yeah. uh, and uh, the um, and there's quite big fines if you, you, you somehow kill swans. We've never killed them. Uh, currently, we have the two uh, adult swans, and we have four cygnets. Yes. We have four babies. And, it's so uh, nice though, because I look yeah. over the over the window. Yeah, well, your well, your yeah. your suite is overlooking uh, the lock with the swans, mm -hmm. and it's uh, the um, and it's manicured, as you know, the the estate's manicured. Uh, most of my neighbors. Uh, uh, not only do we live in all the rooms of the castle, uh, whereas most of my neighbors live in a portion of the castle because they have it uh, walled off because of the heating and the yes. ex uh, expense. You don't need air conditioning here, that's for sure. Yes. But, um, and most of the lawns aren't, aren't, aren't cut and manicured. And of course we have the, the entire estate is floodlit with the lights around the estate. Yes. And uh, the roads are tarmacked. And it didn't used to be that way. I mean, it was uh, it was in uh, the road. It wasn't paved like that. No, no, it was, it, uh, it was um, a combination of gravel and dirt. And uh, it's uh, 
It's a beautiful place, and uh, we're very. And, and those are the, the four cars, the correct. famous, right? Correct. So yeah. you don't you don't even have time to drive. No, well, no, it's not <laughs> that I don't have time to drive. Uh, I probably do if I wanted to, but I don't drive. I've driven 25 years, and uh, we have a driver, a lady driver. Uh, the Rolls Royce, with the, the, the Rolls, the the Bentley, yes. are what she drives me in, and then Sally drives the uh, Aston Martin and uh, the Ferrari. But I can't even fit in the Ferrari. Uh, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. But uh, Sally still likes to drive. The Rolls is that's the same Rolls as the Queen has. It's an extended wheelbase, but uh, I don't drive anymore. And we used to, back in the day when I had a helicopter, we used to land the helicopter right here. And I think I saw it in an old video. Yeah, an old video, yeah. correct. Where the helicopter used to take me to um, Edinburgh Airport. And I, it'd land about uh, 50 or 60, 70 yards from the plane. Then I'd walk uh, and, uh, onto the uh, British Air Jet, which is normally the uh, airlines that I normally use. So That's, do you stay here most of the time? Yeah, know? most of the time. We've sold off our other uh, estates. You had a place in LA before. We had a place overlooking the Pacific Ocean yeah. in Rolling Hills, California. Yeah. We had a place, um, and actually we had two places in London. Uh, we had a place in Monte Carlo, but it's become a fishbowl now with tourists, a lot of tourists. But we got rid of all those over the last five or 10 years. And so the only home we have now is uh, Guthrie. And we celebrated last year our 450th anniversary of the castle. And um, James III of Scotland gave Sir John Guthrie in 1468 uh, the acres about two million acres, plus um, the uh, the uh, right to build a home here, and uh, and then different parts of the castle have uh, grown over the years. The newest part of the castle was in the late 1800s, 1890, 1895, which is at the end there, and then there was some parts in the 1700s, and then it was joined in the middle 1800s. It was joined, and you can see the difference in the uh, in the in, in the stonework. And it's um, 55,000 square feet, which we live in all of it. Uh, and the uh, and of course you uh, you you probably sit and take pictures of our butlers. Yes. Uh, Ed, Edward, Edward has become is. famous. Yes. Uh, and he's the, a famous butler. Yeah, he's a famous butler yes. on television. And we're expecting a program to come out on BBC in the next few weeks. And the um, but this is where I spend most of the time. It's uh, you know it's it's fortunate that. It, at my age, I just turned 74. At my age, I'm still active. I'm still very healthy, and I'm, uh, you know, I'm in demand. And so uh, the, um, so I'm fortunate and blessed in that my career has lasted so darn long, a lot longer than I ever thought. I think it's so nice because I know you, you were teaching and then you retire and then you're teaching back and forth a few times. Yeah, right? correct. But I think, but this time, I think when I when came came the first time, it was. I think with four guys with me, five guys in total. Correct. Right, and now you have twenty somewhat people attending. Twenty-four. And then you're doing more events, which I think it, it's it's awesome. Right? And, it, and I think with someone coming here, that first of all, it, it's it's a bitch trying to get here. Correct. Right? That's not that, easy. That's an effort, right there. It's a, a good difference test for a lot of people. And the second thing is the environment. Unless you're here, you don't really know. You mm -hmm. don't experience. I remember back then, ten years ago. I, like coming here, the biggest thing for me I got out of it is expanding the, the context of what I believe was possible. When I saw what was living with my mom in the one you know in Vancouver in a little condo. When I saw this, it was such a contrast. Like and to believe it's one thing to say you believe, but it's a whole other thing to see this. Well I've seen your your new home. Yes. And it's quite spectacular. Yes. And I was but it's very, not a castle. No, no, but I was very impressed. <laughs> I was very impressed, and the and I'm sure when the kids yeah. come and see that, yeah. uh, they're blown away. Yeah. Uh, you, you can't be uh, not blown away. Um, and uh, the uh, well, the next level is a big yeah. chateau someplace or a big you know <laughs> someplace. And the uh, oh, but, a helicopter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, helicopter. And uh, uh, but I mean, you're never going to um, outdo or overdo or, or uh, go over your wildest expectation. And uh, the, the, most, the more wild the expectation, the better. Mm. And so the kids, uh, the, the kids that follow you and the kids that follow me, uh, they have to dream bigger. Mm. They have to think bigger. You've heard that some of the uh, webinars, some of the mm. students say that mm. one of the, 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 the best things, the greatest things, or the most advantageous things they got, away, uh, got from the experience here and the experience with me um, is that they think bigger. Mm. 
And, uh, you know, guys were going to do $10 million deals, now do $100 million deals. Guys that were doing $100 million deals are now doing billion dollar deals. And uh, the, uh, it's not dissimilar to my own thought process when I, you know, when I, when I uh, realized and I flipped my, my ideas to, uh, to, you know, to build real uh, uh, you know, generational wealth, wealth, generational wealth, yeah. and that's what the kids have done. And, and, and fortunately, you know, I'm at 775 billion dollars in generational wealth now with the kids. Uh, not dissimilar to yourself, uh, and uh, it's quite an honor uh, to have done that. But um, it's not for everybody, as uh, you well know. 100%. Uh, you know, I mean, not everybody wants to make the sacrifices. Yes. Yeah. Dan, what would be your challenge or expectations of me seeing that from 20 some odd years old now i'm almost 37 38 right you're still a kid yeah but anyway, for, sure, yeah. for sure for sure what would be your expectation coming from like, well i mean the uh, uh the, you got a great place where you live but i mean there's places 100 times bigger yes okay you you made quite a bit of money but and uh the um uh, I feel poor though. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I but, I, but I mean, the kids don't understand how much it costs to be rich. Yeah. The expenses that are associated with being rich. Yeah. yeah okay. Um, the the um, you mentioned it. You know, it's yeah. hundred grand to, to keep this place going. But I mean, for yourself, I mean, uh, to get, get a wider footprint, uh, wider. expand expand uh, beyond uh, the shores of North America. Uh, to uh, to you know, we talked about. Uh, uh, high ticket closing uh, uh, certificates mm. where they're like uh, an MBA mm. or they're like, you mm. know, uh, mm. some sort of college degree or some sort of diploma. Accreditation. Uh, accreditation, that's the word I was looking for. Thank you. And I mean, that's all possible. I mean, that's all possible. And uh, so far, you've done fabulous. But I mean, you got another, I don't know, 10, 20 uh, or more years that you can do this. And uh, look what you've accomplished just in the last 10 years. Yes. I mean, and you can do multiples of that, and I would expect multiples of that. And the uh, the, the best of the high performance kids that I've had the privilege of coaching, and you're obviously one of them. I mean, you you just scratch the surface. You've just scratched the surface, you know. And I say, you touch a billion lives, and not only will you become a billionaire, but you'll change the fabric of the DNA of the of the planet. And you you you'll, you can touch a billion lives uh, because there's certainly a billion people that need more income, for sure. I mean, there's probably six billion six people on the planet. So I mean, uh, your universe is 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 so large, and uh, you know, it, it it really depends on if you get tired. It really depends. I assume your health is going to stay good, uh, and uh, but that those take, aside, get complacent. yeah, yeah, and it's easy to get complacent. You know, it's it's easy to say, well, shit, I don't need any more money. Why do this? Yeah. Uh, but I, I haven't seen that. And I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, in fact, I know it's not going to happen. The fact that you've come here now after these years, and we you're getting learned. we need to be a student. Yeah, and and, and, and refreshing, and, uh, and I'm, I'm so inspired. Yeah, and right now there's so much money. Interest rates are 5,000 year low. There's so much money available on the planet. All you got to do is um, go out and get it. Uh, this is uh, news articles. News articles. So when we went public, our coal mines. In, um, in Kentucky. Uh, this is one of our offshore rigs in, in, in the uh, Gulf of Mexico uh, back in the day. Uh, the, um, this is uh, uh, a, a copy of our first annual report when we went public. Um, and the, uh, this is uh, a gift from some of the um, mentees. mentees from a few seminars ago. Just fucking do it. Just fucking do it. Um, these are various articles um, that have been in various newspapers over the years. Uh, when I've written, been written about in the Wall Street Journal and various newspapers. And uh, this is when we were an uh, Inc. 500 mm. uh, company, uh, 195 and 196. Nice. Or no, excuse me, 152 and 195 back in the late 90s. And there was a picture, was like when you went public, I think. Yeah, yeah, this is the picture. In, recently, <laughs> recently, you, got, you, got, you got to check this, check yeah, out this yeah. picture. Recently on, on social Look media. Look at the smile. <laughs> yeah, that's the first 10 million pounds, which is about 20 million bucks, <laughs> that I took out yeah. of, um, uh, of the company. Yes. Uh, back on my birthday, uh, 35 years ago, August 10th. So I guess was, money does buy happiness. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, and if you don't think it is, it's because you don't know where to uh, shop. And uh, the, uh, it was quite an extraordinary day. 
and uh, I've continued to do, you know, a whole lot of supernatural things over the years, and we keep this locked up. This is my office. Wow. And, and this is where you spend most of your time. Correct. And I think people need to understand that it doesn't mean like a high performance person, you're working alone. Correct. Doing your thing, you know, calling, doing deal, just all your most of your time for hours and hours. Correct. Right? Like, days and days. Days and weeks. Years, weeks. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And uh, this is where we, um, I run uh, the um, various organizations that I'm privileged to be the head of. And this is where I come up with the ideas about changing the seminar. And the seminar you're seeing today was different than the seminar that was in July. That was different than the seminar in June. And, uh, uh, the, and you have a lot of like artifacts. Correct. And especially a lot of frogs. Yes. And Why are so frogs? Uh, frogs because um, of, uh, I know that kissing frogs is part of my job. And this is the frog yes. that you gave me yes, thank you. Uh, yes. uh, 16 years ago. Go frog. <laughs> yep. I always want to never forget how I got here, and it's by kissing frogs, by and that means turning over rocks, looking at countless deals, talking to countless people, and um, and that's why when I travel around uh, the world on my website, if, uh, if you want to talk to me for 20 minutes, you make an appointment, and uh, whether I'm in Vancouver, Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Dallas, Texas, or London, I see people normally and, in the hotel and, 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 and sometimes those could be a total waste of time. Correct. But there might be one Correct. or two, right? Correct. Uh, there may be one or two uh, that uh, actually come to fruition. And uh, the uh, two thirds of my time is pro bono. Two thirds of my time is for free. Uh, I'm, I'm either doing charity work or I'm talking to universities, uh, which is uh, uh, one of my most uh, enjoyable pastimes. Or I'm talking at uh, other organizations. I was privileged to talk at the Hyperloop, the guys that are drilling the thing from Elon Musk under the ground uh, when I was in Los Angeles a few months ago. And uh, I continued to do that, and I continue to enjoy it. In fact, when we just came back from Nepal, I, talk at, I talked at one of the, uh, the leading engineering university in Kathmandu and, um, to a packed house, and I really enjoy it. Now, I'm giving my, my, uh, my first seminar one day, right? One day, outside the, the castle this century. In the last 20 years, it'll be the first time. I'm giving it in uh, Heathrow Airport at the Sofitel Hotel on January 18th, all day seminar. But uh, the castle seminar is where I can make you accountable. Yeah. And uh, that's really important. And what the kids out there don't have is accountability. And uh, what we give them here is accountability. And I think for most, I want to say that because you have you have the, the the people on YouTube on social media where they think oh Dan is doing the event. First of all, Dan doesn't need to do the fucking event. You gotta understand, right? At the age of seventy four, doing a five, six, seven day training, I do a two day training and I am tired, right? To do that and to give back, it's ten times easier for Dan to just go out there to do the deal than rather than Correct. teach a bunch of kids Correct. who don't know shit Correct. To, to do the deals, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Talk about dragging them over the, the, the finish line. Uh, yeah, like, yeah. I mean, it's heavy, right? It's heavy. That's where you get the knees. Yeah, I got, I got artificial <laughs> knees and my back hurts. That's where that came from. <laughs> it's very yeah, true. Yeah, it, it's true. Um, but I mean, our system, procedures, and uh, our... Uh, Second to none, we don't have the best of practices, we have the best of best of best practices. And even today, I mean, or this week, we've seen people in the last few weeks, last few months, that have put this into practice. And today after lunch, we're gonna to listen to Jason, who just did these deals in Australia, uh, who's attending the seminar. Uh, and the, uh, it's quite remarkable. Uh, but the, the system works, it just does. And right now, I mean, uh, love him or hate him, President Trump has changed finance forever. It's changed finance around the world. It's easier to get money, and there's just a uh, plethora of uh, financial opportunities uh, that didn't exist uh, five years ago before President Trump. And so I'm here to tell you, take, make here while the sun shines. I mean, um, and, and we are. And this, this group of 24 that's from basically all over the world. Different age group. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, youngest is 18, the oldest is, is um, uh, 55 and actually you're the average age. Mm, yeah. The average age of the 24 kids is 37-ish. Um, and uh, guys, gals, 
children, boys and girls. I mean, go out and get it done. I mean, uh, what are you going to ask your, what are you going to uh, tell your grandchildren that you did during the greatest transformation of wealth the world has ever seen? Sit on your ass with your thumb up your ass or that you went out and created generational wealth? It's up to you, you know. It's, uh, it's up to you how you're going to uh, address uh, your kids and grandkids, you know, 20, 30 years from now. And uh, I'm going to continue to do this as long as I'm healthy. Uh, there's no time limit or anything like that, but uh, I didn't think I'd be doing it at 74, uh, but I am. And uh, so I, I foresee doing it uh, for the next few years. Um, and the, um, unless I'm, I'm called by the president, then I'll, I'll take a hiatus. I'll take a couple years off. But uh, Dan, continue Thank to make me proud. Thank you. Thank You're you. very Hello. welcome. Hello.